And therefore, here in Egypt, you know, when Arius of Alexandria, Arius of Alexandria was one of the great people in the church, in my opinion. <clears throat> Arius of Alexandria was a mufessor. He was not a philosopher. Many people say of him, he was a philosopher, and he couldn't accept that God was, you know, Jesus Christ. Or, no, that's not true. Arius of Alexandria was a mufessor of the Bible. And he was a conservative Christian. Because in Egypt, like all parts of the early Christian world, you had people who were heirs of the Church of Jerusalem, the Church of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in Jerusalem. Arius is one of those. Arius dressed in white. You know, he usually uh, showed his arm. He was barefoot. Um, he dressed like the disciples of Christ himself. He was very conservative. And his opposition to those who wanted to deify Jesus Christ was a conservative Christian opposition. When Arius says that Jesus cannot be God, that he must be created. And it's very interesting because Arius in the debates, you know, the main person who debated in Egypt, do you know what his name was? He's also an Egyptian. His name was Athanasius. Athanasius. Athanasius was, you know, these are Greek speakers. They're Egyptians. Maybe they could speak Coptic, but usually they're Greek speaking Egyptians because Greek was the dominant intellectual language of Egypt at that time. Athanasius when he speaks, when he debates with Arius, he says that if Jesus Christ were not completely God, he could not be a savior. Okay? So, like, if I read that, when I read that, it's like, what? If Jesus were not totally God, he could not be a savior. What's going on? See, this is cognitive frames. Because for Athanasius, and for Gregory, and for Basil, for these church fathers, Origen as well, Origen's also an Egyptian, for them, in their Greek logic, their Greek dualism, God is outside the world, he's not in the world, and the world which is matter is not good, it is the source of evil, this is why the monasteries here in Egypt often were based on imatit and myths. You know, you have monks, you can see it, you've probably seen it yourself in monasteries here. I've seen it, where the monks would tie their hair in knots against the wall so they could never sleep. They could never sleep. You know, he'll drop his head like that, but his, his hair is tied to the wall. And it, he wants to get out of his body. He wants to get out of his senses. He wants to liberate his nefs. Very interesting concepts, you know. But he must have a savior who is also divine, who can then take his ruh up to the transcendent God. This is the cognitive frame, you see? And this is what Arius of Alexandria was against, because he said, this is not the biblical teaching. This is not the biblical teaching. And it's very interesting because...